Hello everybody, welcome back. Since I already created the account, this is what you're gonna see when you first join in. And you can sign up using Google or GitHub or even your own personal email. If you wanna send me any hate or love email, feel free to send me at learnpal29 at gmail.com. So what is the point of using Algolia in the first place? Big companies like Medium, one of the biggest blog in the world, created by one of the co-founders of Twitter, Evan Williams, he invented uh, Medium, not necessarily him, but he probably he hired a bunch of people to, to build for him. Use Algolia. And there are a bunch of other companies using Algolia. Actually, I, I cannot remember which companies, but there are a lot. And as well as small developers who are lazy to build their own search engine. So if you're a developer wanting to like launch your product as soon as possible and you need a search capability for your website, I suggest you to use Algolia so that you don't have to think anything about search. Everything will be handled by Algolia. Of course, it comes with a price which you have to pay monthly if you if you willing if you are going to launch to production your web app. But it is very helpful. Imagine you have to hire another guy just to build your search engine from scratch, which we don't want it, or you yourself have to build it using Elasticsearch and so on. But I think it's better to use something that is already ready made, like Algolia. I'm not trying to promote their company, but for myself as a developer, if I want to launch my own web app, I will use something that has already been done, like Algolia, Stripe for payment, like MailChimp or Mailgun for emailing and so on. How does it work? How does Algolia work? So this is how it works. We're going to funnel our data from MongoDB to Algolia. Algolia will create like a sort of a database in the website. And we're going to funnel all the data, all the products that we have in our database. And we're going to funnel it to Algolia database. Simple as that. So when someone search something on a website, it will actually search in Algolia database not really from our MongoDB database. So MongoDB send the data to Algolia, that's it. So whenever you create a new product, like as in for like admin create a new product, that newly created product will be saved in the database, which is our MongoDB, and as well as it will sing to Algolia's database. How awesome is that? So let's go ahead and do that. But first you need to create the index, which is the database for our Algolia. So you wanna click create index and let's name it Amazon clone V1 create it it will take some time to create it. not really it's quite fast so now we have no record just yet so the first thing we need is API keys so you want to go to API and there we have it search only API key and then we have admin API key if we are doing the search from our backend then we might need the admin API key so you want to copy this admin API key. You can just copy to clipboard and you want to go to your visual studio and go to your server and go to dot env as usual and type Algolia secret and then make it equals to whichever your API key is save it. So that's it. It's very simple actually, but I want to go through to all of this, show you the overview. You can see the how many operations that we're gonna do, and you can see the metrics, the records, and then this is the index, which is the database that we're gonna be using. And then let's go to indices, which is our Amazon clone. So this is the analytics for the website, and you can actually check it out later on, like geo and all, geolocations. And then we have monitoring, and we can see like, you know, how many people actually use your search engine and so on. If Imagine if nobody uses search engine, you can just cut off Algolia once and for all. So this is actually for uh, enterprise companies. So this is actually for enterprise plan. I think if you actually upgrade, you're gonna get more features by Algolia. And billing is just for like, if you wanna pay, simple. Let's click it and yep. And as for billing, you can see starter 29 month, $29 per month, only 250K operations. And then if you like your website has a lot of users, then you want to upgrade to 499, which is quite expensive, but it's worth the price. So in the next video, we are going to create our API. So I'll see you guys 